hit the record button. So I'm now recording. Okay, so yeah, I um, got this uh, question on um, sleep, sleep and potential, you know, um, not getting to sleep within a timely manner. And also, um, you know, the intuition, it could be dissociation or it could be stress, or it might be the after effects of an illness, uh, like a physical illness. Um, so all of those are very interesting. And I, I think, um, so I'm just gonna go through a few of these, like dissociation. Um, dissociation <clears throat> will definitely lead to repressed feelings that one hasn't felt out and that one isn't feeling out. And this can definitely lead to um, insomnia. Like it feels like the body's under stress. It's like some, some kind of steam needs to be released from the system. You know, maybe some repressed fear or some repressed energies or guilt or shame or just uh, anxiety. So these repressed feelings, but it feels like one isn't is, is okay, but one isn't getting to sleep, and that can definitely be a, the, one of the one of the answers to why one isn't getting to sleep, and yet one feels relatively okay, but is not getting to sleep. So that then, so if there's a dissociation, and and people can have unconscious beliefs, and even traumatic incidents where they, for safety, they will go into dissociation. I would say mostly so I mean, one can go for, to disidentification with the body, in which case. Uh, one can bliss out uh, because one lets go of the addiction to being obsessed with the body. I mean, that's that's different to um, having a dissociation from one's feelings um, and uh, as, a, as a safety mechanism, as a belief system for safety, so not to experience uh, maybe overwhelming feelings. Now, this can lead to pent up feelings uh, being there, but not really connecting to those feelings. And so, I mean, definitely could lead to not being able to get to sleep because, you know, if there's too much steam under the hood that needs to be released, too many repressed feelings, fear, guilt, shame, anger, anxiety, or even if there's seeming things that one could feel in the body, like tiredness, exhaustion, uh, you know, the after effects of whatever it is, I'll, I'll come to adrenaline and, and stress and fight and flight in a moment. So how, what do you do if this is happening? Well, I would do the thing. I mean, the intu if one has the intuition, I, th I think it's dissociation because I'm not, I can't seem to have any problems going on, but somehow I'm not sleeping. So then I would, um, what I would do is I would, I would surrender. I would do the Course in Miracles on it. Like I surrender to God, my dissociation, uh, and I pray for a miracle and transcendence. I, I pray, uh, I surrender, dear God, my blocks to feeling any repressed feelings or any blockages that I may be having, either of a, of a physical or an emotional nature. And I pray for a miracle or I surrender it into God's infinite light and love and I pray for a miracle. So that intuition could be correct. <clears throat> so you're now asking the high power, you're asking divinity to come in. You can't exactly see, it's a bit of a blind spot but you, you've got a, an intuitive thought that <clears throat> could be dissociation. There is stuff I'm not experiencing. So ask God for help with that, or if you intuit what it could be, just keep surrendering it or canceling it into God's internal, or do the Course in Miracles, pray for a miracle, pray to see dissociation. You know, God did not create dissociation, so it's not real. I pray for a miracle to, uh, to see dissociation differently. Um, I pray for a miracle to see in truth anything that's blocking uh, my capacity to sleep on a, in a timely manner. Uh, or I pray for a miracle that whatever it is that's blocking my sleep be revealed to me. So that's a good one. So sometimes you're not sure what it is, but it, it will come into your head. It will pop in as a thought. You need to do this, cancel this, surrender this. And uh, if that's the case, uh, and that might be, that can definitely be the reason, dissociation then when it's gone, you'll start to feel feelings. You know, that's really interesting. I'm now feeling really angry. Uh, that's really interesting. I'm now feeling very exhausted and tired. And then now that you can, you know, the thing is if you've got, uh, if the body, now I'm gonna go into number two, which is after effects of an illness. Uh, illness is, is the same thing. You use the same principle 
for releasing illness as you do repressed feelings. Like if you're tired, you need to feel your tiredness out and experience it and then you fall asleep. So if you if you um, if you've had a, a physical illness and you've and you and there's anything going on like overeating, watching too much Netflix, or being preoccupied with a hobby, um, or dissociation, not distraction, or using on anything in the world, it can stop the repressed feelings coming up, and that could be blocking sleep at night. So the thing with illness is like illness can be like I need to feel some exhaustion for a while, and then my body, you know, it seems like the body will recover, or I need to feel the the trauma that I've had this diagnosis, I need to process that. And then the body starts going to sleep. So it's still, now the other thing with um, fight and flight, which is probably something, you know, like, it, you know, the olden days you saw like a saber toothed tiger, but today it could be like, you, you haven't got enough money in the bank or whatever it is, same thing. You go into flight. The thing with adrenaline, which is a very subtle one, but it, it you know, it's one of my old addictions. Adrenaline numbs you out and you feel invincible. So if that's going on, um, then you won't be able to connect to the feelings or the physical ailments and things and process them and experience them. So if it's an adrenaline addiction, adrenaline addiction is, is um, you know, it's like you're numbed out on adrenaline. You've got this adrenaline coursing through your body and you feel indestructible. And I haven't got any fears. I haven't got anything. I haven't got a problem. I've got an amazing spiritual connection, but it's actually the adrenaline still going through the system. Uh, that's giving you that immunity. So if it's adrenaline and you suspect it could be, or what you could do if it is adrenaline or, or the after effects of the, the numbing phase, or uh, you know, even the body can, can um, produce adrenaline as a mechanism to not have to experience very bad physical ailments or after effects. So it could be uh, you know, that's been triggered. So you get the invincible phase, you don't have to feel it. Uh, so it's a defense mechanism and a belief system picked up somewhere. So if, if it's adrenaline, you can either um, you, uh, I mean, I would do the observer on it, but the observer might be your thing. You can um, I do the Course of Miracles. I surrender God my adrenalized state, which is blocking me from my feelings uh, and, and, and from my physical ailments. Uh, uh, I surrender this and pray for a miracle and transcendence. Or it could be, um, uh, so you could do that with the adrenaline. Um, you could, if it is something, I mean, one trick is to know, are you doing any distracting or addictive behavior to, to try and not feel what's, what's happening at nighttime? Like, oh my God, I, you know, I feel okay, but it's now four o'clock in the morning. And, um, you know, this is too much. I'm just going to I have a donut <laughs> put on it put on netflix for a few hours and that which should bore me to death or something so um so stop that and 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 let it you know like even if you don't have any sleep it might emerge what's being hidden and and then sometimes it might mean you're sleepless and then feel awful and then have it but the next night you might start to get your feelings back or even your physical ailments, if it's the after effect of an illness, feeling exhausted, suddenly having a pain. You know, if it's dissociation or adrenaline addiction, after you've done that, you might start, suddenly get pains in your feet. You might start feeling exhausted. You might suddenly get really angry, you know, that you've not had sleep. You know, I didn't realize I was that angry that I haven't slept for a few days. So some, these things, and then you know you've, you've cleared whatever it is that needs to be cleared. Um, and, um, Okay, stress. so that's stress um, and that's uh, dissociation. And we've talked about um, distraction as well. So I can't remember if there's anything else I should be talking. Okay, I'm gonna stop there.